They're attacking the royal mines again. Knights of the square table, defend our family jewels! We must defeat Sir George's men. Gasflame, establish a defense perimeter. Bernevere, report on troop strength. Blaze, you and I will attack in formation Delta Tango Orange. Or better yet, let's just rush in and torch those buggers. Or Camel Hawk! <laughs> The raid wasn't a complete loss, Sir George. We did lose a thousand knights, but at least we made off with this extraordinary diamond. It's half eaten! Curse those dragons! Merlin, I want some fiendish advice. How can I make Camel Hot mine? Hmm. My spies have just given me some new, deliciously diabolical information regarding the future of Camelot. My new alarming clock is a splendid invention. But adding the snooze lever was pure genius. Flicker, hurry up, you lazy bag of dragon droppings. King Olfar's been waiting to see you. I just want to test the snooze lever one more time. I'll be down in nine minutes. Fine. I'll tell the king, our absolute sovereign, master of all he surveys, that you can't fit him into your busy schedule. Whoa, hold your jingle bells. Tell the king I'm on my way. Maybe it's about my request to battle in the tournament tomorrow. If I can't win, Princess Flame will be forced to marry someone else. A great inventor needs a great workbench. Unfortunately, I'm stuck with this one. It's my pet moth, Pavlov. So far, I've conditioned him to stay in his jar even after the lid is removed. Hello, little friend. Anxious to show all the nice people what a well-trained moth you are? Pavlov, where are you going? You're setting a terrible example at the beginning of the game. Bad moth, bad. This is the most precious thing I own. My invention book. It contains the designs for all my best inventions. A good inventor always has his invention book. It's a photo of Princess Flame. She's the apple of my eye, the cream in my coffee, the frosting on my cupcake. Strange. Whenever I think of flame, I get very hungry. I do some of my best work here, so I sleep as much as possible. The only drawback to my alarming clock is that I have to wake up and wind it every ten minutes. I have a cracking good view of Camel Hot from my window. 
my rubberized tail warmer. Functional yet stylish. It keeps my tail toasty at night. There's nothing there but some unfinished inventions. It's still a new book. A diverter combines the steam to a central source. The scrubber spins with enough force to clean just about anything, including grimy tail scales. This candelabra has lit my way to the kitchen for many late night snacks. Flicker, about tomorrow's tournament, my answer is no! Jeez, I was only an hour late. The tournament is open only to dragon knights. You're not a knight, you're not even a squire. Knights of the square table, your attention please. Silence please, silence for the king. Pray silence, the king is speaking. Shh, I'm oh, sorry. We must do something, Flicker. I refuse to marry one of these flaming idiots. I'll try, Flame. I promise. Uh oh, visitor! Humans in Camelot? Greetings, King Smallfire. <laughs> oh, I sincerely regret to hear that you are finally retiring. When my entry in your tournament, the Black Dragon wins and is crowned king, he will turn your hide into ladies' handbags and tight shoes. What? Humans can't enter the tournament? I'm certain the Camelot Law Book will not allow such a thing, Chancellor! Hmm. You're undoubtedly right, sire. Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 clearly states that Humans shall not be eligible to participate in any tournament. Unless, of course, they have a dragon to participate on their behalf. Chancellor, I believe you're mistaken. Doesn't Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 refer to an obscure law governing public snout pick? Uh, yes, well, at one time it did, but uh, I changed it. Accidentally. Uh, this is a sensitive matter of state, King Orphire. I really don't think the princess should be involved. Quite right. Keep quiet, Garrett. Quibble while you may. Tomorrow, Camel Hut will be mine. Away, Mervyn! Humans! Pah! We should have toasted the little pink bugs the moment they arrived. Calm down! Our opponent can be defeated. Your mission is to bring back information about this mysterious black dragon. Yes, sire! Father, Flicker needs a mission. Oh, okay. Flicker, I hereby command you to wash all the dirty dishes that have piled up in the royal kitchen there you have. <laughs> oh, wacko! Tell you who, chaps, we have a black dragon to quash! That's an English word, you know. Blind, idiot! Oh, great. 
I see Sir Gasvane's been using room service again. The royal tea kettles are always left on the stove in case the king wants a cup of tea to soothe his nerves. King Allfire's teacups are on a handy spinning rack. I bet this mop keeps the kitchen floor clean enough to eat off. We should use it on the tables. That's a waste of time. Those are in the foreground. I could most likely use this in case I make a mess. Or perhaps for something else. It's a perfect fit. So snug that no steam's escaping. Flicker, I've got great news. You're going to help me with the dishes? No. If you're a knight, Daddy will have to let you compete in a tournament. To become a knight, you first need to have an existing knight take you on as a squire. And then? As a squire, you can journey into the cave of dilemma. Leave alive, and you're a knight! Good luck! Bye! Well, that sure simplified things. Another perfect fit. I'm a natural at this. Stand back, Flicker. I think you've done it again. It's working. Lo and behold, the automatic dishwasher. Now, how much would you pay for this miracle time saver? Don't answer, because I'm free to leave the castle. This step. Good day, Chancellor. This is my latest invention, the automatic dishwasher. I see it's ran off steam. Is it powerful? As powerful as a dozen knights. Fascinating. Perhaps later I can help you find some further uses for it. I'd better not. He seems deep in thought. Or asleep. Sometimes it's hard to tell. That's the doorway to King Allfire's bedroom. Pipe cleaners. The king must have been cleaning his sinuses out. I don't have sinus problems, but this pipe cleaner might come in handy. I feel bad enough having taken one. Any more and I couldn't live with myself. And if I couldn't live with myself, I'd have to find a roommate, because there's no way I could afford to pay rent all by myself. The king and queen were happily married for nearly a thousand years and unhappily married for more than four thousand years. From this balcony, King Allfire can admire the majestic landscapes of Camelhot, which, by the way, are on loan from the Majestic Landscaping Company. It's King Allfire's fountain. Monarch Quarterly. In this issue, they reprint King Allfire's infamous 12-hour coronation speech. I'll just take the Monarch Quarterly along in case I get a sudden bout of insomnia. King Allfire's bed. It has a queen-size mattress which cost a princely sum. I am honoured that King Allfire has one of my inventions in his bedroom. It's a shame it only tells the correct time twice a day. This door goes to Princess Flame's bedroom. Flicker, this is my bedroom. Next time, knock, please.
please. Oh, Flame is really upset about the tournament. Excuse me, Flame? Flicker, have you done it? Are you a squad? Uh, I'm close, Flame. Honest. Hurry, Flicker. I refuse to marry against my will. Can't you talk the king out of forcing you to marry? Use your feminine wiles. You know, smile sweetly. Lock him in a half, Nelson. I've tried, but he reversed me into a figure four leg lock. Flame? Flicker? Do you have any more advice about becoming a knight? Nope, but here's a kiss for good luck. <laughs> Flame? Flicker? So, uh, what sort of dragon do you want to marry? Well, the dragon of my dreams is sensitive. The other day I saw a rainbow so beautiful, I wept. Of course he'd have to be funny. Did you hear about the human who thought manual labour was a famous Spanish painter? Brave. He'd have to be brave. I'm almost completely over that nightlight phase. I swear. And most important of all, he'd have to be covered in tattoos that say, I belong to flame. Fine, I'll check the docks and get back to you. Touchy. Try that good luck kiss thing again. <laughs> it's a bottle of Hair Club for Dragons. Guaranteed to grow hair on even the most stubborn heads. This room has a lovely sneezing pit. We had to rebuild the castle three times before I invented these. It's Princess Flame's couch. If Princess Flame was willing, I'd make it a love seat. Mm. This mirror is clearly warped. Makes me look like I have a jewel gut. Flame has an outstanding view of my bedroom. I'll have to put up some blinds. King Althire thought of this information booth after he got lost in a neighbouring castle. I beg your pardon? Yes? What can I do for you? I need your help. I have to locate the Knights of the Square Table. I've got a semi-enchanted map. It will show you where you want to go, even if you don't know you want to go there. I beg your pardon? Yes? What can I do for you? What's the easiest way to become a squire? Kiss some knight's butt flicker? It hurts, but it's worth it. Oh, heavens me, did I just say that? Can I have some useless information? If you stacked every jewel in Camelhot end to end, they would go all the way to the moon. It's getting them back that's the problem. Can I have some useless information? If you stacked every jewel in Camelhot end to end, they would go all the way to the moon. It's getting them back that's the problem. What are you knitting? Oh, my little boy's grown another two feet since last week. I just can't keep up. Now, what can I do for you? I need one of those, um, things. You know. You mean one of those diddly bops you put on your, well, you know. Exactly. But without the doohickey on the end. 
Either you want a new bowstring for your crossbow, or I should slap your face! Either way, I can't help you! I have all the information I need. Enchanted. I can see where all four knights have gone. How did Sir Burnaby wind up here? This is the home for the grimly insane, where they treat clinically depressed storybook characters. Magic beans! This place is jumping with them. Magic beans. This one looks good. Looks like he wiped out the home for the happily insane next door. She seems like a very confused young lady. Excuse me, but your hair... It's too long, I know. Otherwise you never would have said such a thing. Please calm yourself, miss. Yablanowitz, Rapunzel Yablanowitz, and how could I be calm with all this long hair? Oh, what long hair? You don't know what it was like. Everywhere I turned, it was Rapunzel, throw down your hair! Rapunzel, throw some more hair down! Hey, I didn't get any hair over here! Before long, I was throwing down hair all over the place. It was making me crazy! That's exactly what I was thinking. Crazy. Luckily, Dr. Fraud is a man who knows how to make a commitment. In fact, he's committed everybody here. He's really helped me see the light. Getting the hair out of your eyes probably helped. Should you be outside? Unattended? Yes, of course. I do the gardening around here. I trim the bushes, I trim the grass, I trim everything. You should have seen that beanstalk before I got to... Why are you so stressed about your hair? My hair? If I don't keep it short, it'll grow down to the floor and then out the door. But we're outside. Wouldn't it grow in the door? Well, if you're going to split hairs... Now, don't bother me. I've got to be ready with my clippers if it tries to grow. Forget I said anything. Most people do. How's it hanging? Stay away! Any more of that tonic and I'll be able to tuck my bangs into my sock! I won't splash you again. You have my word. What I'd really like to have is that hair tonic. How about you hand over the bottle and I'll give you my clippers? Nah, I have the strangest desire to collect a lot of junk lately. Well, okay. Lance, the royal mole, is ruining the streets of Camelot. The royal subjects love this statue, but the royal pigeons love it more. Those are tough crows. They scared the last scarecrow right out of town. Lance, the mole, is certainly busy today. That's the royal pizza chef. He makes a double cheese with rubies that's to die for. But he's not the happiest dragon in town. Excuse me, chef? Oh, solo mio, nothing is free. My life is so depressing. <laughs> it's an affair and an jest. Oh, what is the point? It seems like not much. What do you want, a flicker? I'm busy being upset. What's the problem? What isn't? 
Ah, uh, it's been such a long time since I had a good laugh, you know? Like when you laugh so gosh darn hard, you think it was hard, she's gonna explode? Maybe it would help if I told you an amusing anecdote. What's the matter, you? I'm not sick. I don't need no antidote. Well, you need something to put a smile on your face. Excuse me, chef. What do you want, a flicker? I'm a busy, being upset. Can Trivet cheer you up? Ah, you crazy? Ah, that a stupid dragon wouldn't know a joke even if I served it to him like a larger pizza with an extra opal. Well, I know he's not that funny, but... Funny? Ha! He's not even close. He makes me even more depressed than I am. Excuse me, chef? What do you want, a flicker? I'm busy being upset. Don't be so depressed. At least you have a nice paddle. She's a beauty, no? <laughs> it's a one of a kind, irreplaceable. So you wouldn't want to sell it? I just said it's irreplaceable. That means I no cannot replace it. Shit! With all the soot around here, the royal sign washer has his hands full. Plus he has to work on stilts. Hello up there! How's it going? You say you're from the Union? No, oh, I can't hear you way up here. Oh, I'm coming down. I'm sorry, but I'm not from the Union. Forget it, kid. It's time for a break anyway. The Sign Washers Union says we get a break every 13 minutes. You need a lot of breaks when you work on stilts, you know. Hands off, son. If I can't climb up and clean this sign, I could lose my job, and I'm only two years away from retiring to a fat pension. It's the Royal Catapult Target Range, where knights practice raining cats, but never dogs, against enemy castles. It's simple. Use the catapult to knock down the cutouts of Sir George's knights. A crude representation of Sir George's home, Castle Grimm, which is pretty crude itself. All I have to do is aim the catapult, adjust the tension and release. If I hit 9 out of 10 wooden knights, I get a shot at the big Sir George cutout for the win. Got it! That's one! Chalk up a second one! Scratch the third one! Four down! Halfway there! That's five! Six! Got this by the tail! Seven down! Victory is near! Makes eight. Hey, that's nine. Counts on ten. I did it. I win. I am master of the catapult range. The poor fella took a lot of punishment. I'd better hold on to him. It's the Royal Termite Mound.
You think your mother is a... Uh... A, a dragon! Oh, good sir, I don't have time for this. Ah, you have a classic case of scale envy. Now, take off that silly costume. This isn't a costume. I'm a dragon. And you, sir, are a fraud. Yes! I am Dr. Sigmund Ford, specialist in the disturbed, the confused, and the loony nut boys. What a mess! Sir Burnaby is trapped! He's a bit of a nervous wreck. It looks like he could snap any minute now. A naked man eating flies. After what I've seen today, that doesn't seem so strange. It looks like Dr. Fraud is losing his patience. Sir Burnaby must have wandered in here and now he's trapped. Thought of yourself as any other? I say, that's a nice pipe. Uh, can't stop to talk, have to play. Uh, uh. So the play's the thing, but what? Uh, the rats! My playing is the only thing keeping the rats away. If I stop, they'll be all over me. It's horrible. But I haven't seen a rat for miles. Don't be fooled. They're all around us. They hide in the shadows with the glowing red eyes, waiting. That's a catchy little ditty. What's it called? Oh, it's called Keep the Rancid Rats at Bay. If one gets near, I fear my flesh he'll flay. <laughs> it's an original composition. Is that a flute or a record? <laughs> It's neither. It's a pipe. I'm the Pied Piper. Get it? I'd be crazy to do that. Ooh. I'll talk to you later. I see you're busy being insane. <gasps> Beware the rats. They're out there. Excuse me? Yes, what can I do for you? I notice you're eating flies. Indeed I am, dear boy. They're low in fat, high in fiber, and the way they buzz on the way down gives them a little added zing. I didn't know humans enjoyed flies. Neither did I. Oh, fancy that. Humans like the same things we frogs do. Oh, so you're a frog. More or less. Aren't you cold? Nudity leads to that. I usually wrap myself in a lily pad when I catch a chill, but that's a little impractical now. If you don't mind me saying so, you look pretty human. For a frog, that is. Hard to miss, isn't it? I blame the princess who kissed me last summer. Eccentric girl. Good family, though. Is there anything I could do to help? If you should come across a princess in an affectionate mood, do send her my way. Puckered up, if possible, and not too much lipstick. There's a good chap. Sorry to bother you. I'll see you eat it. Mm. Excuse me, Dr. Fraud? Another one. So is spreading. Wait till I finish with the other nutcase. Psst, Sir Bernie Do you mind? I am in the middle of a session with my patient. Try this. <laughs> Must keep wooden pipe in perfect condition. I don't know what I'd do without my pipe. <laughs> ah, we're doomed. A total rat attack. Any second now, I'm going to be covered from head to toe with rats. Rats up my shirt, down my pants, in my shoes. Stop that over there. What are you, cuckoo? Cut it out! Strangers on the street will say, What a nice fur coat, what a nice fur coat, and I'll say, I'm not wearing a fur coat! I am covered with rats! Dirty, stinking, lousy rats! Knock it off, you! The only rats around here are inside your head! In my head? Oh my god! Get them out, get them out, get them out now! Settle down! Relax! Relax! Untie me, flick up. Hurry! 
liquor! Oh, good job, lad. Uh, I wish there was a way to show my gratitude. And I wish that a grateful knight would make me a squire. If only there was some way both our wishes could come true. I believe indentured servitude to be a degrading anachronism. But so you will not defame my hallowed name, please take this gift as a token of my gratitude. Sir Knight, I don't know what to say. Except, what is this? It was awarded to me when I deduced that the world was the shape of a duck. Impressive. All it took was Princess Flame's kiss to turn you back into your original form. I imagine you'd giggle if you could. And most of your IQ went away when you transformed, didn't it? So I'm probably standing here talking to a frog who doesn't understand a word I say. Your conqueror, Sir George. You've got the wrong castle, so blind as a bat. That's Sir Gasflame, the visually impaired. He's a powerful warrior, but his eyes are as weak as his intellect. I haven't seen the king this angry since that nasty business with the pea under the princess's mattress. Trivet can be so literal at times. You come up here, you myopic moron! Um, pardon me, Sir Gasflame? Huh? My word! A giant talking dandelion! <laughs> oh, Flicker, it's you! Why do you refuse to wear glasses? Sir Bernavir wears them into battle. Do you think any less of him? Of course I do! But he can use those large words to defend himself. That's King Allfire up there. Your sense of humour is warped. It's clear this is Castle Grimm and that fuzzy blot up there is so jawed. Talk to you later. I see you're busy attacking the wrong castle. Come down here, wretched human! You come up here, you myopic moron! <laughs> Don't make... Perfect. It sank right into the ground. Now, if I know my fairy tales, this shouldn't take very long. Unhand my nose, you stone blind stonk! King Allfire! What happened to Sir George? Am I in trouble? Found you, gas flame. This is the last straw. Oh my word! Look at my poor tomato plum. Looks as though you've got brown roots, sire. Blast it all! I've worked so hard on them. There, there. If you like, I can give you my mum's recipe for fertilizer that will solve all your problems. That's rather stand up of you, gas flame. All is forgiven with that earlier business. So anyway, how's your mum these days? <laughs> Buried her last week. <laughs> Dead, you know. Oh, just a minute, sire. Flicker lad, thanks for the help. It was my pleasure, Sir Knight. Just as it would be my pleasure to serve under you as your squire. Oh, dash it all. You know me and squires. I'm a special case. As a token of my appreciation, though, here is a lot of Peruvian coal. Gee, thanks. Coal. Off to the square table room, Sir Gasflame! Follow me! Your Highness is most resourceful! This is the crater that King Allfire and Sir Gasflame created.
Oh, just look at the time. King Allfire sent me on a mission and I've been here for hours. You're such a bad boy. Hey, big guy. I can't control my burning feelings of candy love. That's a blaze. The seriously vain. Mesmerized by the thing he loves the most. She seems like a happy little frog, but I bet she's lonely being here all by herself. You like them? 99.9% .9 pure paradise. Oh well, I suppose I can stay longer. Excuse me, Sir Blaze. Not now, Mummy. Can't you see I'm busy? <sighs> you heard him, baby. Go chill with the out crowd. Is that new chain mail? It's groovy. Do you really like it? The love train has rumbled into my station. Go on, you think? No, there aren't a lot of things a frog need. Are you recovered from that embarrassing bout of narcissism tonight? Oh yes, Flicker. That was indeed a torturous, <sighs> yet somehow stimulating spell. Thank you for saving me. I'd consider the debt paid in full if you would take me on as your squire. Oh bother. I'd love to, but I couldn't do a thing for you. I'm way over my squire quota. Try Sir Lounge a lot. He's looking for a squire. Come on now. No pouty faces. Here's a gift for you. I'm honoured, Sir Knight. This is clearly a family heirloom, handed down through generations. Don't be silly. I have another 30 crates in my boudoir. Hey, Sir Lancelot's out of the woods. said that Sir Lounge-Lot is the bravest and strongest of the knights. Of course, Sir Lounge-Lot is usually the one who says it. There's the black dragon. Even his silhouette is scary. It's a bit muddy, but this path will take me up to the top of the hill. Fork in the right hands can be an effective tool. So lounge a lot. I've been looking all over for you. I've been looking all over for the Black Dragon. I challenged the coward hours ago and he still hasn't engaged me in combat. Combat? With him? Surely you jest. No, I joust. I thought the king only wanted you to get information about the Black Dragon. Ha! Oh, king Allfire will forget all about that when I come home dragging the beast by its tail. You expect the Black Dragon to come down here? Why not? It's his turn. After all, I had to trudge all the way up the hill to challenge the brute. It's only fair he should come down to me for the battle. Is there any way I can talk you out of this challenge? No! It's a matter of honour now. Sir Loungelot, about the Black Dragon. This is no time for talking. I'm a dragon of action. And I'll sit here and wait for that dragon as long as I have to. I'll take this. Dragon is a machine. That makes sense. No self-respecting dragon would ever work for Sir George. That's Sir George. I guess he's testing the Black Dragon. That's 
Dog the Dog, Sir George's loyal dog. He's a clever little fella. That's quite a strong knot, but the rope itself looks weak. It's treadmill powered. It seems ready for launch. We are simple, underachieving peasants. Loosen the rope, then get inside that thing! We're doing our best with these bright. into those redwood trees, coward! Some warrior you are! You slug brain simpletons! This is all your fault! Sir Loungelot, what happened? Did you not see it yourself? First the fiend was not alone, he brought several of his friends! No doubt it's a grand tale, but first I have something to ask you. Very well, what is it? You know I admire you, don't you? I'm not sure I like where this is going, Flicker. If you get funny on me, you'll regret it. I'm looking for a knight to squire under. And you want me to be that knight? Out of the question, you're not qualified. On a mission like this, you wear chain mail? Yes, what of it? Mail is fine if you're conquering a continent, but for tracking down dragons, I would have picked out a light wall. While tracking, you need to be light on your feet. You seem to know quite a bit about battlefield wear. I've just now decided that you will be my new squire. If you insist. Tis settled. Now, here's something I think you will need. Soap? Not common soap, simpleton. It's my privately blended laundry detergent for my undergarments, which I expect my squire to scrub every morning. Sir Loungelot, I'm overwhelmed by your generosity. You're very welcome. Now, back to Camel Hut so I can tell the others of my grand battle. King Allfire, the Black Dragon has been defeated! Say what? Good work, Sir Loungelot. You will make a fine king and husband to my lovely flame when you win the... I mean, <laughs> if you win the tournament tomorrow. <laughs> I am not about to stand here and be given away as a prize in a contest! Blast it all! Flicker! See if you could cool flames, flames a bit, would you? Yes, your firm but fair dictatorship. But first, I have vital news about the Black Dragon. What could you possibly have to report, my puny squire? That the Black Dragon is actually... A machine! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, knight, settle down. We shall resume later. Flicker, now please go watch Princess Flame for me. All right, your Purple Mountain's Majesty. I'm running away. But I just became a Squire Flame. If I make knighthood by tomorrow, I can win your hand in the tournament. Sorry, can't chance it. Now, help me find something to lower out the window for me to climb down. Oh, Flame is really upset about the tournament. Excuse me, Flame? What is it, Flicker? I'm running out of time! Where will you go? Wherever the mood takes me. As long as they have room service. Maybe I should come with you. I don't know. We'll be on the run, never more than a few feet apart, sleeping in each other's arms, always brushing up against each other. 
Oh, perish the thought. I'm afraid. Afraid that I'll be at the mercy of a harsh and cruel world. I'm afraid of what will happen when your father learns I helped you escape. He'll have me skinned, beaten, flayed, shot, hogtied, deep fried, and drawn and quartered. So selfish sometimes. I'll let you finish your packing. Please hurry! Ali Kazak! <laughs> Zippity Duda! <laughs> Ali, Ali, Oxen Free! <laughs> Form of a waterfall! Knock it off! I tire of waiting for the Chancellor. Where is that scabrous, scaly-faced moron? Sir George? Mervyn? Moron, moron, moron this subject later. Mervyn, our friend the Chancellor has arrived. Why have you summoned us here, Chancellor? A meeting like this is quite risky for you. Indeed it is. But Sir Loungelot has told the court that he defeated your Black Dragon. No matter, for Mervyn here is building a bigger, more powerful, new and improved Black Dragon 2, the sequel. Excellent. A young inventor here in the castle has created an extraordinary power source. With it, your Black Dragon 2 will be unstoppable. A power source, eh? Hmm, what flavor? <laughs> Now wait here by the castle while I go and retrieve the plans. I'll send them down. Right then. In the meantime, I shall prance about and practice my maniacal laughter. I could depend upon. Ugh! What kind of knot was that? Weren't you ever a dragon scout, Flicker? Uh, afraid not. Hey, what are you doing here? Ugh! Let go of me this instant! Flame, what's happening down there? Help me, Flicker! It's broken ball, and he's tying me up and putting me in the back of his carriage. I <laughs> Flame! A flaming note. It says, Thanks for Princess. Was expecting plans. Signed, your pal. Oh no! What plans could they mean? Flicker, what have you done? Depends how much of that last bit you overheard, Chancellor. Most of it. Now tell me what happened, Flicker. Flame was kidnapped, and a flaming note from the kidnappers said that they were expecting some plans. I don't know what plans they were talking about. Simpletons. It should be obvious, Flicker. The kidnappers want the plans to your dishwasher. My steam engine? Yes. Give me the plans and I'll see that the princess is free. Not gonna do it. Wouldn't be prude. Fool! You're wasting valuable time! It's Flame's suitcase. Fully packed. Hey! My bag is missing! I finds out about Flame, he'll have me beheaded for sure. Flicker, where is my daughter? I wish to see... 
King of Fire. Flicker, where is my daughter? I wish to see. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Until you bring me Princess Flame, I don't have anything to say to you, Flick. This leads to the Chancellor's Chambers. He's King Allfire's most trusted aide, although I'm not sure why. I beg your pardon? Yes? What can I do for you? King Allfire wants to see Princess Flame. If the Kingy Poo wants to see a princess, go ahead and show him one. Can I have some useless information? Strange, but true. Every six minutes a mother dragon gives birth. I say we find that dragon and stop her. I have all the information I need. Hey, you snatched my bag. And that's my invention book. Give it back. Hush, lad. Trust me. You'll thank me for this one day. Now let's get these plans to the kidnappers so our beloved Princess Flame can return to us unharmed. This same day, Carrier Eagle. We'll get the plans there, lickety split. Curse you, stupid bird! Oh well, at least I have my backup ground delivery dodo. If you can't trust me, here's your chance to redeem yourself. Follow the dodo to the kidnapper's lair, rescue the princess, and you'll be a hero. As soon as the little fool gets anywhere near Castle Grimm, he'll be chopped into a dozen pieces by Sir George's guards. Did you say something to me, Chancellor? Oh, no, 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 no. I was just having a small, malicious aside. Carry on, lad. Great concept! Using birds to deliver messages. It certainly beats my plan to use covered wagons powered by fossil fuel burning internal combustion engine. Mmm, salty dick soda crackers. The birds must get thirsty eating these. I'm certain no one will miss a couple of crackers. The Chancellor uses these to designate which bird will carry the mail, Express Eagle or Second Class Dodo. I might be able to use these. It's a book from the Royal Library titled, Crushing the Will of the Weak with No Remorse. This book is way overdue. Let the Chancellor return his own books. I really must find a word that rhymes with orange. I really must find a... It's the plans for my very first invention, the clicker. I sure hope I can find a use for it someday. I really must... There are no more inventions. Pedaling provides locomotion and powers the fan blades.
toss the popper into a fire or near anything that's really hot. And a few minutes later, look out. A large enough popper could blow out the fire, or worse. So be careful. You start with an ear of fresh corn, which you have to dry until the kernels are hard. There's nothing there but some unfinished inventions. That's Librarian Pure Flame. To say she's a bit deaf is like saying a tree is a bit wooden. Now there's something you don't see every day. Trivet's reading a book. This chart denotes endangered species, which are protected by law. There's only two of them left. And they're not even speaking. If they don't kiss and make up, the species is almost certainly doomed to extinction. Poor little guys. They're exquisite birds with such excellent taste. Unfortunately, they taste excellent to the hedgehogs. There used to be plenty of them until the minor birds started fighting back. They sent in a mediator, but they ate him. It's illegal to modify an official document without just cause. I beg your pardon? You want to pick a garden? Look under horticulture in aisle four! No, I said, you're awfully hard of hearing. Oh, you like my earrings? My son sent them to Mayor. He won them in a contest. Can you suggest a book to read today? Read in the hay? Now that's a good way to start a fire! All you have to do is doze off and watch! Any new books coming? I suggest Fire in the Belly, Taming Your Inner Dragon. It's a must for today's modern dragon. A book for sensitive dragons? Yes, I'd like to read it. Well, you can't! So now, Jalot chopped it up and burned it. I've got another copy ordered. I need help finding a book. Do you have a title? Inventor. And I hope to be a knight by tomorrow. Well, that's fine and dandy, sweetie. But how about the title of a book? Um... You wouldn't happen to have... Great earthworms named Stanley throughout history. Keep your claws off my dust. Here it is. It's one of our most popular titles. It exists? I mean, I changed my mind, but thanks. What can I do for you? I need help finding a book. Do you have a title? Crushing the will of the weak with no remorse. I'm certain we have a copy. You wait here while I check in back. Greetings, Trivet! What do you want, Flicker? I'm busy here. 
I didn't realise you knew how to read. When I was a kid, my mum would feed me a precious gemstone every time I read a book. Hooked on Onyx worked for me. Trivet, I need your help. Sorry, but I'm only focusing on myself today. I'll remember that the next time you get your head stuck in a bucket. What are you doing? Changing my life. My days as a jester are over. Armed with this book, I plan to stand firm against the opulent bourgeois oppressors whose sole pleasure stems from making me sit on whoopee cushion. It's been months since you've done anything even remotely funny. All you do is sleep, eat and complain. This book, Hypnotism Made Easy, is going to change everything. We'll see how King High and Mighty Allfire likes making me laugh. Care for demonstration? Okay, but nothing too weird. I don't want to have flashbacks years from now. Have you ever wondered what it'd be like to be royalty for a day? Pampered like King Allfire or Princess Flame? Yes, what would it be like to be a princess? Now that would be interesting. Yes! Make me a princess! Oh, I've always wondered about you, Flicker. Alright, now bear with me. Let's see. Turning into barnyard animals, turning into pudding, turning into royalty. Here it is. Double, double. This is no trouble. Now you are a princess, although one with stubble. Hey, sweet cakes! Trivet, what are we doing in the library? Is there any word from Flicker yet? I don't believe it. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Flicker was right about you, Trivet. Now where is my father? <laughs> the last time I saw the king, he was in the square table room. You should go hop up on his lap. You do look ravishing today. <laughs> You're quite a little freak, Trivet. I'm leaving. Hello, Daddy. Busy doing kingly things? Flicker, what are you doing? Oh, Father, I've acted like such a fool lately. Can you ever forgive me? I don't care much for this behaviour, Flicker. Stop! It's silly. And rather suspect. But, Daddy... That's enough. I mean... Enough what, King Allfire? Enough for... Flicker. Who else would it be, Sire? Are you feeling all right? You've been experimenting with your chemicals again, haven't you? I can tell. Be gone! Weirdo. You trivet! Yes, your highness, sir. It was so much fun. Let's try that hypnotism thing again. Your wish is my command. Double, double, this is no trouble. Now you are a princess, although one with stubble. Flicker, where am I? Where's Danny? Oh, I simply must talk to him about getting my own cars. I can't proceed like this. I must have some proper clothing, or I'm not going anywhere. I'd better take this along. The princess always likes to look her best. I might as well. They're not much of an heirloom anymore. Thank you.
Here, Princess, get some clothes on and then go and give your daddy a big smooch. Oh, thank you. You really know how to treat a lady. Now, don't pee. Hello, Father. I understand you wish to speak with me. Oh, there you are, Flame. Go to your room. Your solution to everything? Do you intend to punish the world? I'll go to my room, but only because it's my choice. Good work, Flicker. You're free to go now. Finally, now I can go after that dodo bird and rescue the princess. Now to catch up with that dodo bird. This is neither the time nor the place for that. Right, the mold seems weary. It must be tough to have the weight of the world on your shoulders. Hello? Pizza Chef? Hello? Hello? <laughs> I'm not talking now. I'm busy laughing. <laughs> I follow the dodo to the kidnappers when some loon of a hunter has him trapped. That will lead me out of here. The hunter probably set this to trap the dodo, but it looks like something else is caught in it. Ow, my aching foot. Hey, help me, somebody, please help me. That ant must have a weight problem if he's sprung this trap, or else he's just big boned. Whichever, he's really stuck. You bet I'm really stuck. Get me out of here. That's such a crime. He's determined to take that dodo home for supper. I've got to find a way to keep the hunter from making jerky out of him. Tonight, Dodo Phillips. Yum, yum. Excuse me, sir. I'm not leaving until I've bagged this here Dodo, Bert. So let me concentrate. Got to stop him, or I'll never find out who kidnapped Princess Flame.
Uncle Bu Now I have just cause. It's official. Dodo birds are now a protected species. You were shooting an endangered species, see? Ordinance number 14602 clearly states that hunting dodo birds is against the law. Oh, it's rough, I tell you, rough. I didn't know. That must be a new law. Huh. I'm gonna throw the book at you. And my aim's better than yours. I'm wild, I tell you, wild. the long arm of the law, or in this case, the short stubby arm of the law. I just hunt That's such a crime. He's determined to take that dodo home for supper. All right, then hunt yourself something legal and meaty, okay? Careful, officer. That could easily be you. He's busy administering justice. I wonder where that dodo has wandered off to. Oh, there he goes. Sir George, you gaseous bottle of mammoth dropping! Yes, it is us who are shouting at you. <laughs> what uncouth, revolting peasants. I wonder what he's doing with that big flat bat. You're not too fond of Sir George, then? Acceptable! We poor townspeople commit absurdities at this snot dribbling collector of too many taxes. We are rankled with stinky boiled anger at his outrageously expensive haircut! Are you gonna burn that effigy? We are poor starving types who have no money for a later! You are a dragon animal! Come on, could you help us? Aren't you too scared to be talking to a dragon? We are mortified, but we have no energy to go running off in terror, waving our arms in the air and such. Now, help us burn this town! Excuse me. Not now, silly boy. I am trying to invent a game using bats and balls, but I can't figure out how to work in the possibility of a player strike. Oh, phew. Holy moly! It's a great big pile of sh- Huh? Bloody sensors. That was my best line in the whole game. We display angry behavior about your temporary person. <laughs> Burn, Sir George! Burn! Wee, wee, wee! Burn, burn! Well, that's that then. Same time next week. Yeah, I can't make it. The Mud Eating Festival. Right, see you in two. It must have a will to live. It leapt free of the fire just in time. I can show this to everyone who said I'd never get ahead in life. It's the villagers' paddle. With no effigy, they won't be needed. I'm certain this has other uses besides paddling. Hey, 
you in the dragon suit. Are you from Rotten Jimmy's employment agency? <laughs> Uh, me? J uh, J Jimmy Rottens? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, I told Jimmy I needed some costume help to walk the street and drum up business. <laughs> How much does the job pay? No, not much to start, but in three months, if you haven't been mortally wounded by an angry customer, I'll consider a raise. Are there benefits? Hmm, <laughs> for medical, there's a barrel of leeches in the back, and dental, there's a pair of pliers under the bar. <laughs> Are you the owner of this establishment? Sir Juicelot, at your service, formerly of Sir George's Royal Guard. <laughs> Why did you leave the Royal Guard? Well, Sir George claimed my insistent chattering was annoying, and if I didn't stop, he was going to stretch my tongue out, rub it around my head, and spin me like a top. <laughs> so, what happened? But you never ask. After I stopped spinning, I left the guard and opened this place. The only good dragon is a dead dragon juice pub. <laughs> That's quite a name. I'd hate to see your bowling shirts. Tell me more about the pub. Okay, we serve every type of juice here. <gasps> We've got orange, apple, pear, nectarine, kiwi, grapefruit, tangerine, mango, carrot, guava, prune, peach, kumquat, and of course, carrot. You said carrot twice. I like carrot. Cut me and I bleed beta carotene. <laughs> What's so great about drinking juice? Are Vu kidding? Look at moi! I'm so juiced up I can read in the dark, tell identical twins apart by the smell of their shoelaces, and hear a caterpillar scratching its armpits from 50 yards. <laughs> I'll accept the job. Well, get out and find some thirsty customers then. Big guy, small brain. And he does seem to enjoy his funny pages. Go away, little man in silly costume, or I kill you. There you go, putting up walls around your emotions. Tell me what you really feel. When I look down deep inside my most private self, yeah, I really want to kill you. Excellent. I feel we've made some real progress. Those monks must be regular customers. They have their own private bathroom. Nah, talk is cheap. What do you think you're doing? Those are mine! What's the big deal? When I was baby Bruce, my sweet old granny read me funny papers when she was out on parole. Okay, I'll make it a point to stay one, no, two steps away from the... Two step? Why don't I just shuffle out of here? Hustle on out. Shuffle? Hustle? Those are dancing words. You want funny papers? Dance me for them on stage, girly dragon. Okay, silly man in a dragon suit. Let us see if you can boogie with the big boys. Okay, I'm ready. You lose. Go home and sit in your puddle of crybaby tears. Hey, brute. Uh, tango, flamenco, disco duck. We dance again. Okie dokie, dancing at 20 paces. Not bad for the easy peasy little beginning. Now for round two. You are one lucky cookie. Try to dance your way through this if you can. I can't believe
believe it! You win the dancing contest! Ruth has been humiliated! Ha! Lock up your daughters, cause I am the new dance king! Like a cracker? What I would really like is a steaming bowl of dragon tail soup with big chunks of meat floating in it. Perhaps crackers might. Oh, yummy! Mm -hmm. These are salty dick crackers, are they not? Just one bite, and I find I am thirsty enough to drink an ocean. That door leads into the only good dragon is a dead dragon juice pup. Ooh, things are really hopping now. We're starting to get a crowd. Help me out back here and take care of those monks. They love the prune juice special. <laughs> Dragons won't eat prunes, but I'm sure I'll find someone who does. Enjoy your stroll, gate guard. Remove your helmet. Of course. But why? So this won't hurt me more than it hurts you! Very good, Sir George! <laughs> so, Sir George is holding Flame captive. And now he has the plans to my dishwasher engine. The little guy's taking a real beating. If he keeps it up, he may become extinct after all. He doesn't seem himself. He might attack if I tried that. That bell must summon the drawbridge guard. Not so fast! I see you there! Hey, you must be the new Pope boy from the Juice Puff! State your business! Is the lady of the house in? Lady Esmeralda is rather indisposed. She and Sir George had words last night. Well, actually, she had words. He had a big rock. When do you expect her back? Well, that depends. Do you believe in reincarnation? I'd like to enter the castle, please. Unless your name is on the list, you're not getting in. And since there is no list, you're not getting in. Then why do you even bother answering the bell? To accept delivery. Would you tell me about this moat? Sure! It circles the castle, it's filled with infectious rancid water, and it's home to a family of electric eels. Care for a... I'm sorry. I thought this was Stan and Trudy Dombrowski's castle. Theirs must be the next one over. Honest mistake! They're looking pretty good. I'd say almost presentable. A gift suitable for a king. After he eats the prunes, he can sit around reading the funny papers. He 
these are too lethal to use in the wrong spot, I'll hang on to them. These are too... State your business! Uh, I've got a delivery for Sir George. I'll hand it over the... Now this is more like it! I'll run these right up to... Sir George! A gift from one of your subjects! Let's see what we have here. I'll be very upset if this is another pile of horse. Mm, so good. Sir George, now slow down. Remember what happened last time. Oh no! Too late! Oh, blast! Out of my way! This is still pretty dangerous, but if I want to cross the moat, now is the time. Even out of water, this eel could chop the scales off me. I can't touch that eel without proper protection. The front door is an iron-bound oak with an armed guard, but the back door isn't even latched. Here be George's wife, same in death as was in life. The entrance to Sir George's royal bathroom. P.U. No blue water in there. Your Majesty, I thought you were still ensconced on the porcelain eminence. That is you, isn't it, Sir George? I hope you don't want your armour. We should wait until your stomach settles down. Uh, uh, no! I want my armour now! Does your Majesty remember it takes a fortnight to de-rust your armour every time you have one of your little accidents? Very well, let me feel your face. What? It's your own rule, sire. Last year, imposters stole your armor six times. So to verify that it's really you, I must touch your face. No! I touched myself earlier and I'm sure it's me! No touch, no armor! Toilet. He is occupied by Sir George. He's Sir George's personal valet. He dresses quite well for a sightless person. I always thought his face could break mirrors. Fresh rainwater. Sir George must drink it since he certainly doesn't bathe with it. <laughs> Essence de Sir George smells just like the real thing.
smell would make a buzzard look up from a dead buffalo. It's you all right, Sir George. Now stay away from those prunes and take this rust be gone in case you have another accident and your armor seizes up on you again. Dog the dog, Sir George's pet peeve. Don't worry, boy. Today I'm nice. I once took a cat nap, but I'm no dog nap. They built a new black dragon and installed my dishwasher steam engine in it. Mervyn has used twisted science and a convenient household appliance to further the cause of evil. He must be stopped. He seems to be in charge of launching the Black Dragon. You there! Sir George, are you here to give the word to launch the Black Dragon too? To what? I mean... Yes! Let's a rip! Well, yes, sir, but first I need the passcode. Of course you do! I knew that! You stick your left foot in, you stick your right foot out. Oh, I get it! <laughs> You're testing me! Gotcha, chief! This stairway goes down somewhere. I should probably investigate. Won't be long now, Princess Flame. Once your father's mystic royal scepter is in my hands, the universe will be mine. MINE! <laughs> You're wasting your breath, you megalomaniac. I make it a point never to listen to other people's psychotic episodes. Foolish creature. Once the Black Dragon 2 is fully operational, your value as a hostage diminishes to around... Let's see, carry the four... Um... Zero! You will like it in the Psycho Ward. What's the Ochre on future? Mervyn! What is it now? Give me the, um, status on, you know, the evil plan thingy. You slept through the morning meeting again, didn't you? Incorporating that foolish inventor's steam engine has increased the destructive potential of my Black Dragon a thousandfold. Destructive potential? But it was never meant to... I mean, good! Destroying is good, I, I guess. You bet your foul feet it's good. Leave me to question the prisoner! Oh, go away! I need to finish my work! You're needed outside, Mervyn! You have callers! You really should come! Very well. Oh, wait. It's probably those persistent toads from the bank about my student loans. Hmm. Tell them I've moved or died or something! Splendid work, Mervyn! Carry on, Toodle Pip! Good show and all that! Your vote of confidence thrills me to no end, sire. This must be where Mervyn hatches his dastardly schemes for world domination. It says, poke eyes, bonk head, jab Adam's apple, poke eyes again, hammer nose, two head bonks, slap face, and then a final poke in the eyes. 
By criminy, it's some kind of barbaric code. The gate is securely closed. All right, you imbecile! I've got your code right here! Code has been verified! Launch! What the devil is all that racket? I get on a really good diabolical roll, and then what? Oh, I'd better investigate. How could you let this happen, you fool? Sir George entered the code correctly. I was only doing my job. What in the world possessed you to do such a thing? Really, what were you thinking? Hmm? Who says I was thinking? This is my castle, and I'll do as I please. I doubt there is any more damage I can do. The tournament is tomorrow! I'm sorry, sir. I bet he's happy to be reunited with his bow. I once took a cat nap. It's locked. I'll need the keys. Well, I pick up just about everything else. A bone should fit in nicely with the other half ton of junk I have. Better put Sir George's armor back on. I don't want to be stopped by the guards. An ingenious little pup. He brought the keys to the cell. It really is you, 
Snicker. You've gotten so forceful. Running away is so overrated. I'll race you home. Why is I live and breathe fire? It's Sir Lancelot. <laughs> Be still, my heart. Flame, it is I, Sir Loungelot. What's on your mind, you hunky, well-proportioned slab of dragon? You're what's on my mind. Regardless of your feelings for me, I will have you. Oh, talk is cheap, scabbard breath. Let's see some action. Your wish is my command, my saucy little tart. Ouch, but I didn't know you cared. No! Where could she be? I sent my knights out hours ago to find her. Flicker, there you are, you... you... Where is Flame? Hi, Daddy. Flame! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. I was so worried about you. King Allfire, this was entirely my fault. I have no problem in believing that. But before I deal with you, I need you to go out and bring back my knights. Understand, dish boy? Flame, go to your room. Oh, Father, is punishment your solution to everything? Do you intend to punish the world? I'll go to my room, but only because it's my choice. Now, to bring back the King's Knights. should do the job. Hey pal, thanks a lot. Wait till the guys back at the mound hear about this. Hey, if I can ever help you out of a jam, give me a call. Or better yet, blow this whistle and my friends and I'll come running. Or maybe strutting, I'm not sure. That'll make the job a lot easier once I'm off break. Just hold on one minute. You'd better have requisition form 8HB33 slash VMD30 for that. What if I don't have that form? Well, if that were true, we'd have to fill out report H999V, make two copies, attach one to voucher B8553-4, and process it with routing slip GBB412. And then the real paperwork would st- Just hold on one minute. You'd better have requisition form 8HB33-VMD30 slash VMD30 for that. Can't I just borrow them? Even if I wanted to, I couldn't let you touch them until you took the five-week training course, had at least three certified instructors sign approval form HH332-3888, and you got signed up for stilt insurance. Son. Just hold on one minute. You'd better have requisition form HHB33-VMD30 for that. Uh, Eddie Ember from Local 47 sent me. Eddie Ember? Eddie got me into the Union? I'd give him a lung if he needed it. 
You want these stilts? Take them. I don't need them anymore. Not with the sign dropping down. It's a pretty odd idea. Ah, <laughs> this should fix those crows. <coughs> That's better. Now this garden can grow. I better leave it here to keep those crows away. I'm sure some use for this corn will pop. Those humans were building a trap. All four knights are stuck inside. The knights are trapped. I must do something. Brave knights, are you well? We are just peachy. Thank you for asking. I'll search for a way to stop this crazy thing. No! Sir George's men trapped us here to raid the mines of Hamelhart. They must be stopped. But Sir Lounge No arguments! Stop Sir George's men from raiding the mines! That appears to lead down below the track. I have to stop the humans from invading the royal mines. After working for Sir George, stealing coal from fire-breathing, heavily armed dragons is easy. Come on, get those canisters filled with coal. This canary must have been trained by Sir George personally to warn against poison gas leaks. No one can leak it like him. They're only after coal now, but they'll be after gems soon. I have to stop them. Hello, little fellow. <laughs> Hello yourself. Did I wake you up? It's not you. I didn't get much sleep last night. How's the gas situation? I take it you mean here in the mine? Everything's fine. Although every once in a while I act like I'm in a faint just to throw a scare into these guys. A little job security? A bird's gotta eat. Who do you work for? Sir George, but not directly. I subcontract. I heard he doesn't pay work. I manage to take care of the bells. Why don't you grab some shut-eye? I'll cover for you. I need some time to think about it. I am a bird brain, you know. I'll leave you to your work. How about a magazine to keep you occupied? <sighs> no, that's a splendid idea. Would you mind holding it open for me? It would be my pleasure. Uh, let's see here. Mm, a speech. My dearest loyal subjects, blah, 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 it's truly an honor, yawn, blah, 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 and then when I turn five, yawn, blah, blah. It 
a vein of coal. No more for me, thanks. My head is still spinning from the piece I ate earlier. I can pick and choose with this. No questions asked. No. They look tempting, but I make it a habit of not snacking between meals. This chemical dust is a byproduct of diamond mining. Whenever we sweep it out of the mines, it seems to rain. I'm not a chemist, but I think I can use this. Lounge a lot! Success! Now see about stopping this thing! Sir Gasplane was about to share what he ate for breakfast with us! Again! I said I was sorry, didn't I? <laughs> now, Flicker! Let's get to the bottom. There's no way for you to escape. I've searched every inch of path for freedom. You've got to think of something, Flicker! My goodness! Oh, that's it! The perfect bat! I should be able to smash the ball a mile! Here, take my own. They're my most devoted customers! home of the Lady of the Lake. Look, something magical's happening. Oh, what are the chances? Oh, all this rubbish everywhere. What's a lady to do?
I got you now, fish lady. Speedy, quick! Let me go! Oh no! That fisherman just caught the lady of the lake! That fisherman looks about as dim as a half watt candle. Hey! You in the ugly suit! Leave those fish alone! I got me a mermaid! Yeah ha ha! Help me, please! I couldn't. I'd get wet. And the last thing in the world I want to do is get wet. <laughs> Presenting Flicker and the stupendous stilt walk of certain suicide. Coming soon to a medieval tournament near you. The sword insipid. Whosoever lifteth the sword from this king's heir 680 clothes dryer shall rightly be crowned master of all. Or maybe not. All the sword's enchantment appears to have gone directly into the dryer. Well, so much for that master of all myth. Mmm, nice and warm. I could try anything I wanted to in here. Crikey! It's the mother load! A rich vein of ore! Help! Someone? Anyone? Now it's set on delicate. Perfectly dried popping corn. So knights, hold these paddles straight out and tilt them a bit to catch the wind. I will forgive me now. Well done, Flicker. It appears that you are starting to take responsibility and clean up after yourself. As you know, loyal knights, tomorrow is the tournament. The victor will be your new king and will wed my daughter. I suggest you retire for the evening. Sire, what if Sir George shows up with another black dragon? Ha! Oh, not unless he knows karate, Flicker, you little sissy. Father, I beg you to reconsider and let Flicker participate in the tournament. Dear, the only hope for Flicker is if he can earn his knighthood by tournament time. <laughs> <laughs> Now, lizard boys. Ah, uh, 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 uh. oh, I've overslept. 
kept on tournament day. And I still need to figure out how to get to the Cave of Dilemma. Hey, Flicker. If you make it to the tournament, my stud muffin lounge lot will kick your butt. As long as he doesn't mistake it for your face. Everyone must be at the tournament. Salad tongs? These must be really old. Dragons haven't eaten salad in thousands of years. I need to get up to the Cave of Dilemma to become a knight. Okay, here's the deal. Let me help now and uh, no one gets hurt. That fisherman's got no regard for his natural surroundings. This ought to enlighten him a bit. Flicker, is there any way I can thank you? Yeah, I got an idea. You could dribble melted sapphire sauce on my... Whoa, wait a minute! I promised a princess flame! Mm-hmm. <laughs> After me, you'd forget all about that little princess. Okay. Wait, 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 stop! You could make me a knight right here and now. Oh, baby, baby, baby. The best things in life are long and hard. I knew you were going to say something like... Actually, what do you know about the Cave of Dilemma? Great parties ever since we banned the trolls. Actually, I'm kind of the bouncer since I control the waterfall that opens it. I thought it was a place where squires are tested for knighthood. Only on weekdays. To pay the rent. Well, I need to get up there. I'm trying to become a knight. Ah, oh, let me see. Got any powdered unicorns, Hornoid? I left it at home. Silly me. Oh, that plan's no good then. Hmm. Oh, I could turn you into a nymph. Then you could dance up the waterfall. Of course, you'd have to remain that way for a millennium. Hmm, seems like a pretty steep downside. Well, I guess I could just shut it off, and you could take the stairs. A bit boring, if you ask me. At this point, I'll take boring. Oh, as you wish. When you arrive there, the falls will be turned up. My job's done here. Plus, it's getting kind of warm. Sign says, Cave of Dilemma this way. You must be at least this tall and a squire to pass. Pregnant dragons, individuals with a history of heart disease or urinary tract infections are advised not to enter. We don't want to deal with you. 
Try Magical Merv's Mystical Mud Hole instead. The Cave of Dilemma is closed, so go away! Scrim, take a hike, I'm retired! I can't believe this, after all I went through to get up here. Wait a minute, how long have you been retired? What time is it? <laughs> but seriously, what's the matter? I have to become a knight. Let me guess, a giant troll has invaded your castle and all the regular knights are off at a swordplay seminar. No, no. The king's evil twin brother has taken over the castle? <gasps> a twisted gnome has made everyone in your kingdom speak Esperanto. I've got it. I'll bet you're in love. That's it. Princess Flame's honor is at stake. I have to become a knight. Will you help? Ah, problem number 449. No problem. I have the rest of my life to start my retirement. I'm guardian, gatekeeper, and janitor of the Cave of Dilemma. I bought the place from Mystic Mel three millennia ago. The name's Ancient Al. Ancient Al? That must have been a rough name to grow up with. You're a funny little schmickle, aren't you? Tell me a bit more about those challenges. We've got the test of dexterity, the test of strength, the test of eye-hand coordination, and the test of something a wee bit scary. Which one do you want to know about? Tell me about the test of dexterity. The outcome of this challenge is up in the air. No dragon has ever returned successfully from this trial. Well, there was one, but it was a really close shave. What about the strength test? It's pretty simple. If you can't get the job done with your back, do it with what you've got between your ears. What about the eye-hand coordination test? For this challenge, you must pull a rabbit out of bunny hopping hats. Don't sweat it if you can't keep your eyes on them every single second. The rabbits have to rest, you have to rest. Just be sure you do it at the same time. The test of something a wee bit scary. I don't get Well, it used to be called the test of ultimate terror. But Sir Cravenhard the Hesitant complained to the Fair Challenge Bureau. So I had to tone it down. Now, through semi-mystical means, I pick through your mind and locate whatever you dread the most. Then I bring that thing to life and annoy the heck out of you with it. Okay, I'm ready to give it a go. Okay, there's the test of dexterity, the test of strength, the test of eye-hand coordination, and finally the test of something a wee bit scary. Pick one, kid. Pick one! How about the test of dexterity? Okay, this one is simple. Get all three porcupines spinning at the same time to win. I hope these porcupines are well paid for this job. This seems to be doing the job. Plus, they seem to like it. I'm ready for another challenge. That's a good start, you little schmizzle. Pick one, kid. Pick one. I'll choose the test of strength. Okay, just a bit of heavy lifting. See that rock? Rock? That's not a rock. It's a landmass. 
It's a challenge, little Snuggy. If it was easy, we'd be up to our armpits in nights. Just move the rock a few feet over that way. A few feet? Is that all? I suppose you'd like me to juggle it as well. Got it. Oh, a little more. Oh, come on. Oh. 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 Who am I kidding? I can't lift this thing. Buggers were that strong. All those years I stepped on them, they could have killed me. Yay! I'm ready for another challenge. That's a good start, you little schmizzle. Pick one, kid. Pick one! Let's try the test of eye hand coordination. There's a bunny rabbit in each hand. One is healthy, and the other three have rabies, and they love to bite. Keep your eye on the healthy rabbit as they jump around, and be sure to pick that hat. Got it? And what if I pick the wrong one? Don't be a baby. Our little rabies never killed. Um, just follow the healthy one. Concentrate, Flicker. Away we go! Flicker, don't be shy. I'm proud of you, kid. And I'll have you know that not a single rabbit was harmed during this challenge. Yay! I'm ready for another challenge. Come on now, kid. Now it's time to face something a wee bit scary. Do it for your old Uncle Ancient Al. Oh well. I suppose it's time for the test of something a wee bit scary. What in the world is that? It looks like all the old dirty laundry beneath my bed. So I hate doing laundry. Is that a crime? Does that make me evil? Wicked! Acknowledging your fears is the first step to facing your plan. You must conquer the diabolical laundry beast in order to pass this challenge. This creature is composed of all my old laundry. I'm so ashamed. to mind soap at all. <laughs> ha! Die, you banshee of a thousand wash cycles! I've taken care of you for good. Nice boy. If you hadn't held the starch, you'd be in for a rematch. You've passed the test! When you first walked in here, I didn't think you had what it takes. So that means I'm a knight? Not yet, you little schnutzy. Your reward for passing the almost impossible challenges of the Cave of Dilemma is this cubic zirconia. 
you can redeem this for our knighthood in any kingdom in the world. Thanks for your help, Ancient Owl. You got what you came for, so go! If you get a chance, drop me a line. I'd like to know how things turn out. He won't write. They never do. <sighs> I hope there's still time to compete in the tournament. Look up! Come over here! By George! By Dragon, you've done it, haven't you? <laughs> Hand over the cubic zirconia! Night as you become as that is all as... Ow! This has been one exciting tournament! Joining me in the booth is my special guest, Jacques Strap! What are your thoughts so far, Jacques? Whoa, uh, uh, you know, for the, uh, we're going to, uh, down for it. I couldn't have said it better, champ! Sir Flicker of Camelhot, newly knighted just this very morning, has emerged as a Dark Horse favorite! Well, you know, uh, more for, uh, the moment? No thanks, Jacques, just had a cap! Now, young Sir Flicker goes head-to-head -head against veteran Sir Gasflame in the vicious log-rolling competition! Well, we ought to do it, uh, for more. An astute observation, champ! With that victory, young Sir Flicker shall meet Sir Lounge a lot in a contest of cunning, strength, and courage. I am speaking, of course, of the very butch and dragonly sport of Thumb Wrestling. You call that thumb opposable? Never had a chance, boy. <gasps> Did you see it? Are you certain that was a miner eating a hedgehog over there? Hmm, perhaps not. Oh, I missed that last bin. Continue, brave knight. I'm ready, sire. This time I'll show him no mercy. Ah! Illegal grip, you all sort no fair! I have to admit that I am surprised at the outcome of this tournament. It was never in doubt, sire. I have the most cunning thumbs in all of Camelhot. But I was supposed to be the winner! I'm supposed to marry Flame! I am here to be crowned the true king of Camelhot! Too late, foul brute. The tournament is over. Your time is past! King Smallfire. Loyal Knights, defeat this monstrosity! Wow, what an entrance! The Black Dragon almost cleared up the entire arena! Through that archway is the tournament ground.
Mika! Die, evil dragon! Popped him in a jiffy! Oh, I'd better get back to the tournament to see how everyone is doing. You dimwit! You wrecked another black dragon! That's it! I quit! Oh, quit your whining! And build me a Black Dragon 3 magician. Oh, yeah. I'll make you a Black Dragon, all right. Consider this my resignation! Whoa! Well, that was a mistake. Give me back my scepter! Oh, your wish is my command, mighty Mervyn. Join your scepter! I am the Inferno Incarnate! Nobody will stand between me and legal and binding ownership of this kingdom. I order you to leave Camelot this instant! You order me? You're not fit to order me lunch! Say, that's an idea. Lunch. <laughs> I think I'll start with a shrimp! What a jerk! You ate the king! You can't eat the king! And a little cream puff for dessert. Now, to survey my new land before I scorch it black! <laughs> It's not fair! I go to all the trouble of creating the ultimate weapon, and the ungrateful contraption eats me! Mervyn's as stuck as the king and I. Etc, etc, etc. King Allfire is just as stuck as I am, and he appears to be in a bit of a stew. King Allfire? Can you hear me, sire? Push me back in, Mick. I'm wearing him down, I can tell. <laughs> Where on my trunk? The king must have taken a knock to the royal noggin. What do you think of the decor inside your new dragon, Mervyn? Me, I think the slime's just a lovely shade of pew. Very funny, foolish dragon. This will be no more than a minor setback once I get my hands on that scepter. Black Dragon is draining mystical energy from the jewel. I doubt it would be able to fly without it. It looks to be an emergency starter. It seems to be some sort of control lever. Stop touching that! With too little power, we'll surely stall and crack! Too fast, or it'll blow! Hey, it sounds like the engine. Sort of. Are you playing with that lever again? Stop it! You'll go blind! It's pointless for you to speed it up. I can simply slow it down. I don't understand! How could it stall? Oh, that's just marvelous, Lizard Boy! The path to freedom lies ahead. Only something unpredictable and very heavy can stop me now. Mervyn, you utter fool! Fool? Oh, are you ungrateful, bloated cretin? I made you! You are where you are today, thanks to me! 
Then thanks for putting me up a tree, you cross-dressing pilk! What a stroke of luck, sire! Landing on top of the Royal Mattress Factory like we... Oh, I haven't felt this young in years! I think I have another 500 years of ruling in me. <laughs> Let me ask you, Flicker, if you didn't really want to run the kingdom, why did you enter the tournament? Well, sire, apart from the usual reasons of macho bravado and general stupidity, it was to save Princess Flame from having to marry against her will. I see. Flicker, your actions over these past few days have shown you to be a lad of noble character with a brave streak bordering on the suicidal. <laughs> I think you would be the perfect suitor for my flame. Is that all I had to do to impress you? I would have done that years ago. It sure seems a long way back to the castle. Yes, I don't remember it being this far. Seems like we're standing on a treadmill. I think I figured it out, Flicker. We're on a shortcut. A shortcut? Quite. Why, I bet the designers took a shortcut by looping this road in 20 frames. That explains it. Can you believe the audacity of those guys? Yeah, Murray, it's me. Hold the phone real close, pal. I've got something real personal to tell you. You're fired! You stink! You're not an agent, you're a curse! <laughs> I'll tell you what's the matter. It's this gig you got me. The one with the dragons and knights and crap. It's a dog, Murray. And this business with the computers and the interactive games is not the wave of the future, Buck Rogers. It's the wave that washes dead fish up on shore. It stinks worse than you do, and it's never going to catch on. All you do is walk around picking up enough stuff to fill a shopping cart. Oh, and get this, the bag they give you to put it all in is tiny. I mean, there you are, hefting around half a ton of useless crud that you probably couldn't lift with a damn crane. Suspend your disbelief if you will, folks. You break your back to find some toenail clippings that you're going to have to use later on with some belly button lint to make an atom bomb. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and get this. If there's some kind of problem that the programmers can't be bothered to deal with, they just say it has magical properties and move on to the next scene. Who writes this stuff, for Pete's sake? Oh, and then they go and cut half my lines to give more screen time to that flicker kid who, just between you and me, is lousy. <laughs> I don't care, Murray! Now, why don't you start earning that 20% you're stealing from me and get me some TV work? Here's an idea. Team me up with some young lookers and we can go solve crimes. Trivets angels or something. Look, I've got to go before these spuds start working on a sequel. Huh? I don't care if my contract says I have to. Oh, I just won't show. What are they going to do? Sue me? <laughs> oh, yeah, good point. So I'll be in the next one. But only if they get someone who at least graduated from high school to do the graphics. You work on it. Okay, baby, I'm out of here. If you want me, I'll be at two bunch getting a soak in the mud. All right, love to you too. <laughs> Dynamics 32 bit lineup with all the nose bleeding, brain bruising, and eye grabbing power that you'd expect from the leader. Third generation 32 bit software. In your face.
any other games we could play? I think he's dead. Hey, pal. Walk it off.